So, huh? Have ball you have a ball too, okay? So you're gonna start with a toss. It's called a W drill. If your team starts with M, call it an M drill, okay? But Whitney's gonna toss the ball to Kaylee, is that right? Kaylee's gonna set the ball to Domi. You're gonna set it back to her, okay? Once she sets the ball, you toss your ball into here. So we're gonna have two balls going and you'll back set, okay? So you guys gotta communicate when your balls are off, if they get off, if you have to go higher or lower or whatever. But, and you gotta talk to your setter. Your setter should be nice, have nice, easy free ball passes here. Make it easy on her, okay? Go, ball in, next ball, yep. You wanna set, we wanna do everything overhead right now. Everything overhead. Nope, just set it back. Overhead. Everything's overhead. Good. Go overhead. There we go. There we go. Awesome. Okay, can I have the U5 over there in the same configuration? You're a setter, right? Yeah. Why don't you be a setter here? Can I have someone fill in this side instead? Okay, so we're just going to progress this one. So the different ways you can use uh, overhead passing is obviously in the setting position. Back here for free balls, okay? Or you can jump and send it over the net. So you're going to set, jump, send your ball over the net to my good friend Megan, okay? And then Hammy, you're going to send it over here, okay? You're going to send the ball that direction, okay? And you're going to send it here. So setters, you're going to set the ball so they can jump, make an approach, set it over. So now we have four, pardon me? You're just going front back, same configuration, but now the ball's being sent over the net. All four balls at one time. So these guys would start at the same time. Yep. And now the next balls go in. Go in. Good. Keep talking to Domi. Hitters, try to get an approach and set it over if you can. Even if it's a two-step. Even if it's a two-step approach, try to get an approach over. So within one drill, you'll be able to use three different ways to use the overhead pass. Now, as one ball went away, good. Do we get another ball in? This would be the time where I'd say, go find a ball and get it in there. Or have a nice teammate do that, too. Okay, hold it up. Hold it up. Good job. Good job. So I like using multiple ball drills because, it, no, number one, makes you have to think about more than just your contact, what seems to come in play when you're when you're playing itself, whether it's the crowd that comes into play or, you know, an out of control teammate, whatever. But you have to concentrate on that one contact at a time, okay? The other thing I like about it is it immediately made them have to communicate. Just back and forth, it's pretty easy, okay? But as soon as we started throwing in tempo, timing, another ball to consider, then they had to start communicating as a group to solve the problem. We might do this for like five minutes. You have to get five without the ball dropping and then we can start doing stuff. Good job.